continuity. So let us start our discussion. So the first question, f of x with uh, two branches given. The first branch on the left side and right side of x equal to 0. If x is less than 0 or x is greater than 0, log of 1 plus ax minus log of 1 minus ax by x should be taken. Otherwise, otherwise means only one point is left from the entire real number that is x equal to 0. When x equal to 0, some unknown value is taken. What is reported here? The function is continuous at x equal to 0. Then applying the condition of continuity at x equal to a. What is the condition of continuity at x equal to a? Condition of continuity at x equal to a limit x approaches a f of x must be equal to f of a ok and to exist the limit of f of x at x equal to a the left limit and right limit should be equal limit x approaches a on the left side and limit x approaches on the right side of a is called the left limit and right limit must be equal so that the limit x approaches a f of x exists very important point on left and right side of x equal to a here a equal to 0 same function given mean conversionally we can take only right limit straight away no need left limit yes on either side of the particular point same function continue mean any one limit enough not required both ok so here on the left side of x or right side of x the same function so instead of uh, taking or finding left hand limit or right hand limit, we can do straight away limit x approaches a f of x. Okay. So what is the solution? How to do? First we will learn all this and then learn how short get. Limit can be taken L. L is nothing but K. It should be K. L equal to K. K equal to limit. X approaches 0. The 0 means straight away we can take. Other than 0 means better we can take no right hand limit. The point other than 0. Non-zero point is given me. And right hand limit must. And log of. 1 plus ax minus log of 1 minus ax divided by x. We can separate like this. Remember student, limit x approaches 0 log of 1 plus x by x the limiting value is 1 very important we have to start with the 1 the unit term very very important the coefficient of x will be the answer x by x applying the same concept what is the limit of log of 1 plus a x by x let us take only the coefficient a alone minus there also let us take the coefficient of x minus a alone then what is the final limit 2a 
the limit is nothing but k so k equal to 2a k equal to 2a go through it the next example the same type of question alone f of x and x not equal to 0 log of a plus x minus log of a minus x by x the, what is the difference in the previous question a is a coefficient of x minus a coefficient of x but here a purely constant not coefficient the term 1 is missing in order to apply the formula we need log of this is a general formula 1 plus or minus alpha x by x whenever the x approaches 0 the final answer is i plus or minus alpha this is general result so dear student to apply the general result we need 1 1 in the place of a we need 1 so some adjustment required actually k is nothing but the limit of the function at x equal to 0 that is limit x approaches 0 log of a plus x minus log of a minus x so divided by x to find the limit of such kind of question what to do we need deliberately 1 so we have to write in the form of log of 1 plus alpha x or 1 minus alpha x this is our aim remember student a plus x would be written a into 1 plus x by a is it not then a minus x also would be written a into 1 minus x by a so we can succeed the getting the unit with a uh, part of the function so we take and log of a plus x means log a plus log of 1 plus x plus x by a product rule we are going to apply so the log of a plus x would be written log a plus log of 1 plus x by a if we combine these two terms we could get log of a plus x without any difficulty so minus similar approach is required for the second term also the first term of second term log a then plus yes on the middle sign minus it will be minus log of 1 minus x by a by x now looking at the terms the cancellation possible log a and minus log a cancel let us proceed now limit x approaches a log of 1 plus x by a by x another term log of 1 minus x by a by x there are two terms the final limit is nothing but k then k will be equal to then the first term or the coefficient of x 1 by a then the second term coefficient of x minus 1 by a minus or minus plus 1 by a and therefore the value of k is 2 by a so that the function can be continuous at x equal to 0. Clear?
So f of x is a three branches. X less than zero, one minus cos four x by x square. X equal to zero a. X greater than zero root x by square root of sixteen plus root x minus four is given as continuous at the particular point zero. Then what will be the value of the unknown a? A is nothing but f of zero. Dear student, during the last class, uh, not last class, last uh, problem we discussed. Whenever the function, same function, continue on either side of x equal to a, straight away limits can be taken. But in in this case, on the left side of x equal to zero. One minus cos four x by x square on the right side of x equal to zero root x by root of sixteen plus root x minus four two different functions given on either side of x equal to zero. What is the indication to find the limits? The left hand limit and right hand limit should be equal. And equal to a. Then alone, this function or this types of function can be continuous at the given point. But the given point is zero. Now what to do? Left limit is already continuous given mean. Left limit alone in a we need not test only for. And board based solution mean left limit, right limit, everything should be tested. It is already it is reported as continuous at x is equal to zero mean of these two branches, whichever branch uh, seems to be easy or friendly with respect to you, you can select. From my point of view, one minus cos four x divided by x square uh, can be handled easily. Then the square root involved function. We are interested in finding a. So, by the definition of continuity, At the x equal to a limit, x approaches a plus limit, x approaches a minus must be equal to f of a. So let we are going to select left limit and a. Then say the way a. Will be equal to limit x approaches zero. Left side of zero mean put the superscript minus one minus cos four x by x square. Dear student, whenever the left limit, right limit is taken, we have to remove the superscript. By introducing h approaches zero. For left limit x will be a minus. For right limit x will be equal to a plus. Here a is zero. One minus cos x equal to minus h min minus four h. Then minus h the whole square. Okay. Then limit. H approaches zero. Minus cos or minus eta plus so one minus cos four h by h square. So we can apply identity. We can apply identity or 
you can go by L'Hopital rule. Because of H square, we should differentiate two times. We should differentiate two times until we get a constant quantity in the denominator. Remember, like x square, h square variable. So here we have to differentiate with respect to h two times. Two times. A equal to my LX rule, L'Hopital rule, limit h approaches 0 first derivative and 4 sin 4x. Here 2h. So 4 by 2 can be taken away and a equal to 4 by 2 is 2. Limit h approaches 0 sin 4h by x further derivative is not required because this is like sandwich theorem a will be equal to 2 take the coefficient of h alone what is coefficient of h in sin 4h4 remember student a equal to 8 a equal to 8 and go through it the next question what is given? Three branches given like the previous one. So we have to handle separately. Left hand limit as well as right hand limit are required. And the both the limit should be equal to B. And separately the two limits are equal and equal to B. So that the function given here can be continuous at x equal to 0. A given point 0 which is equal to 0 so let us start left limits L1 and right limit L2 L1 and L2 must be equal and equal to B so L1 equal to limits x approaches 0 1 plus mod of sin x whole power a by mod of sin x dear student so this is of the form limit x approaches a 1 plus f of x whole power g of x. This limits always e power same limit x approaches a f of x into g of x. Remember this familiar and most important conversion formula most important conversion formula so limit x approaches a 1 plus f of x whole power not g in the x g of x is e power exponential should be introduced exponential function then the limit is exponent of e e power limit x approaches a f of x in the g of x. When to use this formula, the direct value that is 1 plus f of a whole power g of a. 1 plus f of a whole power g of a should be in determinant form. should be in determinant form right so if we take x equal to 0 sin 0 0 
an indeterminate form especially should be one power infinity should come one power infinity is indeterminate form not equal to one why because the bottom one is a limiting value of one function the exponent infinity another limiting both are infinite limits in one power alpha one is limit of one function that is limit of one plus f of x and infinity is a limit of g of x then definitely one power infinity should be considered yeah an indeterminate form not equal to one one power infinity is not equal to one definitely why both one and infinity are limits of two different functions one is the limit of one plus f of x infinity is the limit of g of x then it should be treated as in determinant form not equal to one so if we take x equal to zero one plus zero right away one so one is the limit of the base and if we take x equal to zero a by zero infinity infinity is the limit of the exponent that's why this is of the form this is of the form one power infinity form so once you come across one power infinity as a limit remember this conversion formula remember this conversion formula that is e e power the exponent alone the limit should be taken the same limit there is no change area f of x in the g of x mod of sin x f of x in the a power mod of sin x g of x let us continue and e power limit x approaches 0 sin x sin x cancel one is only a is left only a is left a is constant so constant will not be affected by limits so what is l1 L1 equal to e power a. The e power a must be equal to b. e power a must be equal to b. Okay. So L1 is, let us reserve this result. L1 equal to e power a. Go to L2. L2 independent of any unknown so limit x approaches 0 plus and e power tan 2x by tan 3x dear student this is a composite function in the composite function we can take the limit to the inner function straight away so this is nothing but e power limit x approaches 0 plus tan 2x by tan 3x then e power limit x approaches 0 then tan 2h by tan 3h then final answer e power 2 by 3. Remember student, just remember the formula. Limit x approaches 0 and tan alpha x by tan beta x is nothing but alpha by beta. Make note of this result. So tan 2h divided by tan 3h whenever h approaches 0, the limit will be equal to 2 by 3. So L2 equal to 2 by 3. L2 equal to 2 by 3. What is our A? We should find A value, B value. Dear student, in this case, 
L1, L2, L1 is left hand limit, L2 right hand limit should be equal to B. What is B? F of 0. What is B? F of 0. Just go through the question. F of 0 equal to B. L1 is E power A. L2 is E power 2 by 3 equal to B. So this implies <coughs> the A must be equal to 2 by 3 and B B equal to E power 2 by 3 and go through it. 